guys what is up nick is here uh today we're doing a ranking of sorts and i don't know it's just 2017 2018 movies uh before we get into that just letting you know some a ranking will be on christmas a review the day after that on wednesday some friday stuff i don't know yet don't know if i'll be able to record it or not but anyways let's get into it so you're not gonna introduce me or anything this is my mom say your name Shannon, hi. Look into the camera. I, I don't know where the camera is. It's right, right there, down I'm at the bottom. I'm looking into it. <laughs> okay, yeah. You gotta look into that camera. People can't see it. But the first movie, Civic Rim Uprising. And that's just... Wait, how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, at number ten, we have Civic Rim Uprising. Now, you didn't see this film. No, I don't want to see it. And I movie. didn't care to rewatch this film because it it didn't matter to me. Like so, your ten is from least to great to yeah. greatest. Worst okay. to greatest. Okay. This one, this one's just boring. It's not really fun. The only thing good about it was the Fury or Orion Fury, that big robot that was a demon or whatever. That was the cool thing about it. The only thing that mattered the entire story was stupid. The aliens coming back because of the cool the funny guy became yeah. crazy or whatever that that was stupid didn't care for any of that so it comes in last place because it's it's not really any fun and you can have much more fun in the first movie now justice league this one's a little better because at least we have all these cool characters with all the cool actors in it and it like, brings flash to our attention and aquaman yeah and that movie looks like it's gonna be good but this movie isn't really good the problem with it is that it feels like a studio made it like they just the a studio, studio did make it I know she go doesn't ahead. understand. Guys. I'm sorry, she, go she ahead. No, I don't. It feels like a studio put too much input in what they want it to make in the oh, movie. Okay. So that's why, you know, with Zack Snyder, his his vision and stuff, Batman, that's why Batman's weird in this movie. He's too funny instead of dark and brooding like he was in the last movie. And, you know, he's just off. And Wonder Woman's kind of a little whiny baby now after we just saw her in the last movie being like a Wonder Woman. full on Wonder Woman, you know. And Cyborg, I don't care for his look. I that is I like, stupid. I, I hate like that Cyborg. CGI. I think it looks good. He's a good actor. I think he's good for the part, but I just I don't like the way he looked. I love the way he looked in the end. And I'm hoping for Legion of Doom because at the end with Deathstroke and that after credit, that that was fun. That that looks like good. So, but nothing really that interesting. I liked this one, but not too much. Yeah, I liked it, but I feel like it's a disappointment because they pretty much what they did with this. Oh, wait, well... Yes, that one. This this was number nine, by the way, keeping <laughs> that up. Number eight, Jurassic World. Uh, Jurassic World, uh, what's it called? Fallen Kingdom, okay? This movie, it's good, it's fun. You got the two actors back, they're fun, they're enjoyable. It's the one that tries to be more darker than the others, more scary. And it wasn't that scary. Yeah, but, Not you know, really. the studio, once again, tries to take over. And, you know, they try and say, oh... Uh, no, you need to do, like, a blatant recopy of every single film you've ever done. Like, you cannot be your own thing. Fans will never love you if you do your own thing. So, I don't know. It's like... And it was weird how they brought the little girl, like, recreated the little girl yeah, brought the, that into it. The, it clone, made, it the had, clone, it yeah, had nothing to do with to that. Do with the clone anything. of the little girl, and it just... It's a, it's a bit of a mess that could be one of the best ones if they went with that darker tone and just a simple story. And stayed on track and didn't, like, veer off. Yeah, with so many other underlining plot yeah. lines and it sets up for a third film that looks amazing with the dinosaurs being in our actual a world, world. Yeah, yeah that looks pretty cool so yeah i love this one now she loved this one i think that and one should she be wanted like to put it at the, she wanted to put it at number two i didn't i mean well i did love it i loved it it venom was awesome it's something different it's tom different. hardy she says that but i say it's whatever because i've seen many of this with blade and just with other r-rated movies like spawn or and you know, i still liked it i just thought it was a new spin you know, and stuff so you know and he's not really it's not dark like i wanted to be and you know it's pg-13 and i feel like this would be a really good movie if it was r and if it was dark and that's something and else i liked about it. i thought it was funny it had a lot of funny parts and i stuff. didn't care for that because too much stuff is trying to be dark funny and just too much stuff around here is trying to be like Deadpool or something just trying to be funny while also dark and send a positive message and I didn't care for that I just wanted it to be dark and fun and what number is this one right and here? because that one was 10 9 8 this seven. is 7 yeah Venom and I would have had it at 2 yeah me it's just this film needed a better story better plot the characters needed to be better fleshed out and I just I feel like if they would have went with a longer runtime and just really gone with this 
But I am I am hyped for a sequel. Woody Harrelson at the end. Spoilers, you know. Woody Harrelson at the end. He looks interesting. I can't wait to see him as uh, Cletus Cassidy as Carnage. That's that that's that's gonna be a good yeah good, good movie. I like Woody yeah. Harrelson too. Wait, is that what? Yep, I've it from there. Oh, yeah. That's okay, number so, six. Yeah, number six, if I'm right. Uh, Deadpool 2. Now, I like this one. This one was really enjoyable. You liked it. Mm -hmm. But the problem with me was, is that it felt... It felt forced a little bit, but it was still good. Yeah, it felt forced, and it just, it didn't really... It felt like they were rehashing from the first movie. Just a bunch of jokes, Deadpool doing stuff. Him acting like an actual superhero. It wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. It feels like they're just trying to recreate the first one. It was funny. It was good. It's definitely at number six. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's number yeah. five. Or it's number six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's number five. I'll have to see when I <laughs> edit this. But it's a good movie. And Josh Bolin as Cable. He did really good. But he I did like good, him. but... His character, his acting seemed a little off in this one, and I guess it's because I saw Infinity War first, and just him as Thanos was, was more great. exciting and better, and just, but Domino's a good character, Deadpool's a good character, I didn't like his story arc in this one. And who's the girl? I like the girl. Domino. Oh, that's her name, Domino? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but Hers I, did, I, did, not, I did not care for Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool in this, because they're not going out the comics, because, you know, they had to kill off the girlfriend in order for fans to really get into Deadpool, and... Now they make him just—they make him seem like a generic superhero now, instead of the anti-wisecracking, Merkel to mouth Deadpool that he should be from the comics. Now this is number six, and I would have had that as number one. No wait. No, we're going ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six. Five. Now we're on to five. Ant Man and the Wasp. And I would have had that as number. What did I say? I don't know. Yeah, because I would have had it before Venom, which was number two. I would have had it as number one. What? Ant-Man and the Wasp? Yes, just because of the one scene with his best friend. <laughs> and the it was, funny... Yeah. It was hilarious. This is a funny movie, especially after seeing, like, the funeral in Infinity War. This is funny to go and watch. The ending to it sets up for the next movie in Endgame, which I'm really hoping is going to be good. I'm going to save my money. And who plays Ant-Man? What's his name? Paul Rudd. And I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, Paul I Rudd's think he's funny. Hilarious. He's hilarious. And then you got the girl, whatever. She was the, good too. Whoever plays Hope Van Dye, you know. She she she's like what you want in, from the Ant Man character, you know, like the actual good fighting in the suit and stuff. And it's good action. Lawrence Fishburg, Morpheus, you know, always gotta love him. So yeah. Didn't care for the villain. She she kind of just felt like every generic villain now, where she's like, "Oh, I'm not really evil. I'm just I'm sensitive. something bad happened to me when me. I was so, little." So now so. I gotta act evil. Yeah. You know, she was trying to be too dark, and I just didn't care for it. Thor Ragnarok. Now this is just the funniest thing. I didn't really like how they just decided to say, "Oh, well, you know, we gotta appear to the demographic and say, wait, this is." Yep, that's number. This was five. So that's number four. four. Three, wait, two. three. Okay, know. this is three. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're gonna, six, five, I guess we have nine Four. Movies. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two. two. So we have nine. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, this is number three. But uh, Thor Ragnarok, very funny. I love the director. Remember the director, the guy from that movie? Uh, it's like basically the movie where like he's the vampire and he's got his other vampire friends and they got the cameras walking around. <gasps> Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can't think of the name well, of the guys, but it's hilarious. But Sh what, what We Do in the Dark or something yeah, like that? Yeah, What We that? Do in the Dark. But he's the director of this movie. Oh, he movie. is? Oh, he's funny. And he's seriously funny. He's kooky, he's crazy. Jeff Goldblum is the amount of funny that you want from this. Thor, he's Thor funny. Thor was funny, but the um, green guy. Hulk, man, help me out. Yeah, Hulk. Hulk, Hulk was hilarious. Hulk's hilarious because, you know, he's like a baby because he came to life. The only problem that I have with this is that they had to go in this direction in order for them to make us like the character. And I really wouldn't what mind Thor. Oh, okay. Because, you know, the Dark World was bad and stuff because, you know, people weren't getting into, like, the whole God Thor. They wanted um, the funny Thor. So, I guess it's a good change, but not really one that I preferred because I preferred more God Thor. So, yeah. Coming in second, a surprise, but we have a really good movie that's after this. It's Infinity War, number second. Yeah, from our five and up is definitely films that I would watch and really enjoy. The rest, probably not. But I didn't really care for Infinity because she everyone, didn't care everyone for it. passes. Even if they don't pass away, they still passed away. I just it was too emotional for me. 
Uh, I loved it. It was a joy. It was a ride. This isn't. This should really just be called Thanos the Solo Movie. Now I'm ready for part two though. Yeah, I'm ready Infinity, for the follow up. Endgame will be awesome, but this one comes in second because I mean it's Infinity War. Look, look at this roster of all these characters. I mean, come on. Like, yeah, that had to come in second. But Bad I'm boy. a sucker for Brad Bird and Bad. What's it's his an name? animated Brad Bird. Brad Bird. Okay. Uh, I'm a sucker for Brad Bird. Came out in. 1999, I guess, but The Iron Giant, man. This is best a good film. Best cartoon ever. Yeah, one of the best cartoons ever. The robot in the movie is CGI while everything else is animated. It really helps it stand out. It's The movie's basically, he, he pitched the movie to Universal Wonder Brother Pictures as, what if a soul had a gun? And that's what this is. Oh, I mean, so the iron had a soul. He had what to... if a gun had a soul? So yeah. basically, The Iron Giant is this gun, this weapon, and he learns to grow a soul. With his little friend Hugo or whatever. Yes, Hugo. Hugar. Hugo. Uh, Hogar. Hargar. We'll have, Hargar. To, watch, we'll have to watch it again. I don't know, but it's, my, it's all my kids' Hogar. favorite movie. Yeah. Uh, you got some amazing voice acting, especially with the uh, the guy from out of town and stuff, like the 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 New Orleans guy and uh, whoever plays the mom. I don't know. Let me do. My Jennifer name. Anderson plays the mom. Uh, you got that really funny guy from uh, the supervillain that was in that superhero Harry movie. Harry Connick Jr. plays the boy, the the cop. Okay. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he's funny. He's, he's funny. He's good yeah. as a character. I don't know who plays unless and, I mean, Christopher come on. McDonald might play him, play the Iron Giant. No. 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 Second best part about this, for probably the first best part about this movie. Vin Diesel plays the oh, Iron that's Giant. that's right. It had to be one yeah. of his earlier films. And he's just, he brings that sort of, huh? like, you know, that really good, like, like he does fish with, out of water like he does and with stuff. Groot. Or he doesn't do Groot, does he? He does do, do Groot. Okay. But, you know, he brings that same emotion with Groot, with the huh and the, the huns and yeah. stuff. And it's a really great film of learning a lesson and stuff. One that every film And it's a cartoon that's enjoy. guaranteed to make you cry. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Except <laughs> for the fact that, you know, he doesn't really die, so. Yeah. But that's our list. That's our list. Nine. No, ten. Okay. I mean, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five. No. No. Five and four. And then. Wait. We still did it wrong. And then three and two. So there was no one. <laughs> Whatever. You got it. You saw our ranking. I'll make this right in the video, okay? <laughs> But anyways, that's it. This is my mom. Hi. We'll be getting some Christmas stuff. Uh, rank, a Christmas of the ranking movies that I saw this year. Which it will be including Elf and Home Alone 2. Okay. And that's about it, guys. Just stuff coming over the weekend and stuff. So I will see you all in those videos. Bye-bye.